It's nice to meet you here in the Ville. I think it's the first time for you. Uh, after 17 games, that's the second time you make a film with uh, this director. Is it a coincidence? Uh, and what did you learn from, you, from him technically on this film? Shall I say that? C'est la deuxième fois que vous euh, faites un film avec ce réalisateur-là. Est-ce que c'est juste une coïncidence ou est-ce que c'était voulu Et qu'est-ce que vous avez appris techniquement de cette collaboration um, Ok. Je pense que. Quand j'ai travaillé avec Baron 17 de nouveau, c'est fun que c'était de travailler avec lui sur une comédie, je ne pouvais pas m'aider but wonder what Burr had to teach in terms of uh, drama, because that's more his wheelhouse. And, um, he's sort of classically trained, and, and uh, I felt could sort of teach me his, his tricks, so to speak. And um, immediately when I read Charlie St. Cloud, I think it was a few days, few days after I read the script, he, uh, he sent me a quick text message, and he's just like, are you serious about this? Because I'm in. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And I think like the next day we were we were moving. We uh, we started going. So I was I was just excited to go to a to a more dramatic place with Burr, and um, it was great. We got to pick up where we left off and dig a little deeper. So we also saw you here last year in Me and Orson Welles. So we just say that Charlie and Cloud and Orson Welles are two films that are really a turning point for you in your career, and you really mean to be in different kind of characters now. Yeah, I hope so. They were both, um, initially when I, you know, sort of read the script and when I was circling around those roles, they weren't uh, the most natural of decisions, you know, they didn't, uh, they didn't really correlate with everyone, the progression that everybody had in mind, which is the reason I was so drawn to them, you know. Um, they were each opportunities to sort of stretch and, and try different things, and, uh, uh, slightly more risky, I think. So, um, th these are the type of roles that I've grown to love, you know, and uh, and I'm, I'm very lucky to be able to go and do at all. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can continue to do more and go that direction. So, first question of, about your character: Charlie has this ability of having relationships with the dead people, <clears throat> talking with them, playing with them, but having real, real relationships too. Uh, would you like to have this ability? And something more real, which is your celebrity, the way we can see it here in Deauville, how do you go through this experience? What is it like? Um, <clears throat> first question, would I like to have that ability? I don't know that I would. I sort of feel like I would, I would be like Charlie, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I think that would be a pretty big burden. Um, and after going through it once, I, I don't know that I want to do it in real life. Um, uh, as far as, what was the second question? How do I deal with the second I don't know, this is all a bit surreal. I feel really out of practice right now. It's, uh, it's one thing at home, but somehow it feels bigger here um, in France, in Deauville. It's, uh, I haven't been here for a long time, and this is a pretty impressive welcome. So um, I'm pretty nervous. Thank <laughs> you.